Hello, my lovely children. How's everyone? I need you to prepare your English work, uh, English textbook, and kindly open it to page hundred. Page hundred. We are going to have another fiction reading right here. So what's the title of our fiction reading? It is about The Lost Stars by Hannah Cumming. So let's start. The world is a bright, busy place full of noise. The lights are always on People are always talking and moving. They switch things on, and they watch things, and they do things night and day. They are so busy that often they forget to stop and look up. But I don't see anything exactly. Every night, the stars come out and go to work in the sky. They are beautiful to see and proud to shine in the sky every night. But they are getting fed up. The light and the smog stop people from seeing the stars. The stars have had enough. They are taking a break. In the meantime, the world is getting busier. More and more lights go on. Louder and louder, brighter and brighter, until suddenly the power runs out. Everyone is in the dark. They could give us light. They've gone. We can't see them. I remember years ago, there were bright things in the sky. If you remember the light of the stars, they set off to track them down. They search everywhere. Sometimes they think they have found the stars but it's not really them. Finally, far away, they come across a beach. Could it be? They have found the lost stars. They beg them to come back, but the stars are not sure. Come back. We'll be good. Please come back. Will be good, please. Finally, the stars agree, but only if people promise not to forget them again. The stars had missed the night sky and all of the people too. Everyone made sure that they would never forget to look up at night again. So right here, we have the word cloud. Okay, so we have the following word cloud. Okay, let's read the following word cloud. We have the word beg, break, Fed up, forget, proud, remember, and smug. So we just finished reading, look the lost stars. Okay, so let's go back to page 100 because I have questions to ask you. Okay. Let's go to page 100, because we just read it. But I didn't ask, and I didn't explain, right? So right here, 
we have so there is this word in here that says the world okay it's about the world what happened to the world we have here the world mm -hmm. can we describe it is a bright busy place full of noise in real in real life the world is really a bright busy place full of noise cars and people walking and talking okay and airplanes and ships and the surroundings the environment and everything in the whole world is so busy it's a very busy place to live in really this is real and the people are okay so in the world there are people created by God okay humans okay so when when God created the world God created everything including human beings okay so what I told you the world is a bright busy place full of noise and we have the human beings called people are always talking and moving this is every day this is our everyday life they switch things on and they watch things and they do things night and day we did that we used to do that every day right okay so that it explains what the world is what's happening in the world and the people what are they doing so right here in the next page here you can see the picture of the people okay so right here these are the people and they are busy okay they are busy so they are not even stopping and looking up okay so they are busy walking and talking and everything this is why this boy in here says ah uh, of course he says when he, he was looking up so he says but i don't see anything so he's not seeing anything up in the sky right so if you're going to see or look up can you see anything we could just see uh, in the morning we could just see what clouds the sky right exactly right wow ah, exactly so this is why the people are too busy okay in this story the people here are too busy but in real life we are we are busy so we didn't even look up okay only unless if we find something like oh it's getting dark huh? this is why sometimes we are looking up when we find something like darkness right okay so that explains this and so we have to go to page 102 so right here okay so we can see the stars when we can see the stars when when is it hmm during night time every night right so every night here we can see the stars okay if we're going to look up we can see the stars so right here in the story the stars come out also and go to work in the sky they are also working in the sky so where can we see the stars of course in the sky right so we can see them in the sky 
They are beautiful to see and proud to shine in the sky every night. So here in the story, stars also are getting fed up, okay, like, like people. When sometimes when every day you are doing the same thing and sometimes people talk the same thing, they get fed up, right? They get fed up of doing the same thing, doing the same work. Okay, if talking to someone, the same thing, the same, uh, the same situation, people, they get fed up, right? But in real life. But here, stars are getting fed up. The light and the smoke stop people from seeing the stars. So sometimes we can see the stars, right? And sometimes are not. So here, the stars have had enough. They are taking a break. Do stars take a break? Hmm? Of course not. Only if we, we can't find them, if it's going to rain. Okay, if it's going to rain and like it's cloudy, okay, and at night time, it's going to rain, huh? We're not going to find those stars, right? We can't see them, right? Okay, so that's explain this page. So we have here, okay, here in this part, in the meantime, the world is getting busier, okay? Busier, more and more lights go on, louder and louder, brighter and brighter until suddenly in this fiction story the power runs out and everyone is in the dark okay so stars in here they give us light okay so right here they're gone so we can see them and one says, I remember years ago, there were bright things in the sky. Okay, the moon and the stars gives light, right? So, they give us light in real, okay? Because if there is no moon and there is no star, then the world will be dark. It's just only we can see only darkness okay the next page here so we have here people are looking so few remember the light of the stars so they set off to track them down they search everywhere sometimes they think they have found the stars but it is not really them we normally use Okay, we normally use stars when, for example, like me, when I'm checking homework, I use stars. Uh, one star, if you make your work, if you made your work well done, okay, I give you a star. And if it's, you know, extremely well done, then I give you two or three stars, right? So we use the stars, you know, in our daily life. It is our daily life. Stars, okay? Because stars shines everywhere. Okay, so let's go to the next page. Okay, so right here, they said finally far away, they come across a beach. Could it be? They have found the lost stars. So here they beg them to come back, but the stars are not sure. So in the end, finally the stars agree, but they said only if people promise not to forget them again. 
So in our last page of the story, the stars had missed the, the night sky and all of the people too. Everyone made sure that they would never forget to look up at night again. Okay, children, so that's it then. This is the last of our story for the lost stars. So turn to the page, next page. We have the next page here. Page 108, so 108 here. Uh, we have A and B exercises here. And so right here, I'm gonna give you this as your homework for the day. Okay, so that's it then. Thank you, take care, stay safe, and goodbye.